Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Earlier last week, a suspected Chinese spy balloon was spotted in the skies above the western U.S. Chinese Foreign Ministry officials stated that the balloon is a non-military airship used for meteorological research that had been blown off course. The U.S. government is taking the balloon very seriously and questions the validity of Chinese explanation. Part of U.S. officials' suspicion has to do with the balloon's whereabouts over Montana. One of the places the balloon has been spotted is home to Malmstrom Air Force Base. This base houses one of the country's three nuclear missile silo fields. President Joe Biden was briefed and met with uh, defense officials to assess the situation and establish the next steps. Though the spy balloon poses no significant threat to civilian or military communities, the U.S. has prepared a fighter jets to take it down if the situation warrants such action. However, shooting the balloon down would be a last resort as the debris could possibly cause damage or harm to those on the ground. According to defense officials, the Chinese balloon has limited surveillance abilities as there are very few types of information to be obtained by balloons rather than by satellite. It is worth noting though that it is not the first instance of Chinese spy balloons being spotted over the US. The latest incident only adds to the already high concerns over US security. Recent behavior by the Chinese includes large purchases of American farmlands as well as the increasing ubiquity of the Chinese-owned app TikTok, with which many state officials believe poses a significant risk to national security. The Chinese spy balloon is just one small part of a much larger conflict. On Saturday afternoon, U.S. military shot down the balloon over Atlantic Ocean off the coast of South Carolina. Before that, the FAA issued a ground stop for flights at three airports across North and South Carolina. Biden has faced intense scrutiny from Republicans, including former President Donald Trump, for waiting days to shoot down the balloon as it hovered across sensitive military locations across the United States. Biden said he gave order on Wednesday, but the Pentagon waited until Saturday to carry out the task. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin also acknowledged that the order was given to the military on Wednesday and that the military decided to wait. This spy balloon incident also comes just before the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken was to travel to Beijing for the first time. So far, the highest ranking member of Biden administration is to visit China on a diplomatic visit to ease tensions between the two governments. Before last weekend, the U.S. abruptly canceled the trip. Blinken said he had told senior Chinese diplomat Wang Yi in a phone call that sending the balloon over the U.S. was an irresponsible act and that China's decision to take this action on the eve of my visit is detrimental to the substantive discussions that we were prepared to have. The U.S. also shows concern over China's implicit support of Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which hints at China's own attitude toward Taiwan and other states in the South China Sea. Classic American ideology says that a threat to democracy anywhere is a threat to democracy here. And while a Chinese spy balloon may seem like a small infraction, it's the beliefs behind it that may pose the biggest threat in the end. I can't help but wonder why a balloon? Like hot air balloon for sightseeing, a modern military or commercial balloon can hoist sophisticated apparatus hanging below the back like a fabric envelope that allows it to glide along high altitude air currents. A photo of the Chinese craft above Montana appeared to show panels like those that might provide a solar power for navigation or eavesdropping equipment. 
Observation balloons are one of the oldest military spying devices. German crafts posed such a threat in World War I. For example, that the US decorated fighter pilots as balloon busters for firing on them. More recently, military and intelligence agencies have deployed balloons to carry modern sensor technology for communications and surveillance. Balloon is far cheaper than satellites and lasts far longer than spy planes. Balloons can linger over an area much longer than a passing satellite with predictable orbit, which will allow adversaries on the ground to temporarily adjust to avoid detection. At the Mamstrom Air Force Base in Montana, the US maintains an arsenal of 150 nuclear-armed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles. After the balloon incident, measures had been taken to shield views. China has gone through balloon modernization development at home, emphasizing balloons' usefulness for civilian purposes like monitoring climate change. China has been focusing on developing crafts that can operate at attitudes above 65,000 feet and towards the edge of space, up to 330,000 feet above sea level, according to local media reports and think tank assessments. The US military said the Chinese balloon spotted above Montana was roughly 60,000 feet above Earth. U.S. defense strategy is driven by not ceding technological superiority to China. Now, the appearance of a possible Chinese reconnaissance craft in U.S. airspace raises the spectator of a balloon gap. Remember, China has already demonstrated advanced capabilities in hypersonic missiles and artificial intelligence. Like an unmanned U-2 spy plane, spy balloon offers strategic perspective and is cheaper and easier to deploy than satellites. High-attitude photos can provide details of military bases, dams, power stations, infrastructure for fiber optic networks, locations of server farms, bridges, rail lines, interstate highways, providing an adversary specific data on how to interrupt the internet, slow military deployments, or wreak havoc with the electric grid. On tweet, a Republican Florida Senator Marco Rubio described China's airship as not some hot air balloon, referring to how officials have described it as roughly the size of three school bus with the ability to maneuver. Lawmakers are increasingly concerned that the Beijing-based ByteDance Limited Corporation has control of American user data through its app TikTok. Republican Utah Senator Mitt Romney said also on Twitter, a big Chinese balloon in the sky and millions of Chinese TikTok balloons on our phones. Let's shut them all down. Bill Priestap is a former senior counterintelligence officer. He said, human beings provide the best spying intelligence, but no one method is perfect. It's the totality of information collected that is of the most value. Some former U.S. national security officials said they were nevertheless puzzled at the balloon sighting because China has other more discreet means to collect intelligence on American targets, including hacking. Spy balloon can easily be identified as Chinese. Cyber spying is cheap and deniable. As a matter of fact, some security analysts have linked China's collection of American business intelligence through cyber is espionage and other means to almost an existential crisis. China has denied any claims of spy and said it is a civilian used balloon intended for meteorology research. On Saturday, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs again emphasized that the balloon's journey was out of its control and urged the U.S. do not smear it based on the balloon. However, among policy analysts, doubt is widespread that China lost control of its balloons. 
Beijing's description of its craft raised additional questions. It is a presumably multi-million dollar craft. How would this expensive balloon have limited self-steering capability? Also, China described the balloon as a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, and blamed west to east winds known as the westerlies for blowing it off course. Westerlies are long understood permanent winds for both military as well as commercial uses. Most governments make weather data publicly available. There is no need to send your own weather balloon. China's apology did not appear sincere and the US-China relationship will not improve in the near future. The gap is huge. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly. Until then, be well.